Assalamu alaikum my name is Seyed Damna Kazmi today i will be discussing two fundamental concepts of parallel programming one is shared memory and another is distributed memory these concepts are essential for understanding how tasks are executed in parallel computing environment let's get started let's begin with the shared memory in a shared memory all processor have to access the same memory space this means they can easily share data without the need for explicit communication shared memory systems are typically fast and work well for small scale setups however they are limited when scaling to larger system a common example of programming model for shared memory is openmp which sim simplifies the process of writing parallel programs this is the architectural diagram of shared memory now let's move to distributed memory in distributed memory system which each processor has its own local memory or its private memory communication happens with message passing where one processor send data to another key points of uh, distributed memory is it can work with many professor, uh, processors at once there is no need of shared memory so it's avoid problem where multiple processors try to access the same memory processor need to actively and send and receive message to work together an example of distributed memory framework is mpi message passing interface which is widely used in high performance computing this is the architectural diagram of distributed memory here is the comparison of the two system shared memory and distributed memory shared memory in uh, memory access in shared memory uh, as all processors share the same memory they can directly access and uh, and read write data from this common memory memory access of distributed memory is um, sep is each as its um, every processor has its own memory so they can't uh, directly access the, each other memory communication in com uh, shared memory has um, explicit communication means processor automatically have access to each other data so they don't need to send messages to communicate Ex uh, distributed memory has explicit communication mean ma message passing processor need to send messages to each other to share data or communicate scalability for shared memory is limited and for distributed memory is highly scalable means we can add thousands of pro processor as we want synchronization in shared memory is required but uh, in distributed memory is not required because every pro uh, processor has its own memory these are example technologies that we have discussed earlier why no advantages of shared memory why might you choose shared memory it's relatively easy to program uh, faster communication as direct memory access so no need to communicate explicitly suitable for smaller systems is, uh, with fewer processor as number of processors increases the bottleneck will also increases Shared memory uh, system are often faster when a small number of processes are involved. Let's now look at distributed system. One of its main advantages is scalability. It can handle thousands of processes effectively. Since each processor has its own memory, there are no conflicts over accessing shared memory. The setup is particularly useful when in field of like cloud computing and big data analytics despite it it advantages shared memory does have some challenges one is the scaling scaling becomes a major issue as you 
add more processors because they all rely on the same memory they, this can create bottlenecks and conflicts especially when mul multiple processors try to access the same data simultaneously it requires synchronization mechanism for example log semaphores these are some um, mechanism for synchronization it it also requires potential for race condition and deadlocks means as you increase the number of processors uh, this will increase conf uh, conflicts and it is also not secure for um, data which are um, um, because it has a shared memory so everyone can um, access your data challenges of distributed memory is um, it is its programming is very complex because it requires explicit communication through message passing it um, also in communication between processor can introduce latency especially when dealing with large scale of data increased development and, and debugging it can increase development and debugging it's harder to develop and fix problem because we have to manage communication between processor and make sure everything is synchronized what are the application of shared memory and distributed memory shared memory uh, is being suited for small scale uh, application like desktops and servers where simplicity and speed are priorities Distributed memory on the other hand is used in large scale environments like supercomputer and clusters. These are two real world application of uh, distributed memory. One is e-commerce and another is video streaming. Uh, companies like Google and Netflix use distributed memory system to handle massive amount of data effectively. To conclude, both shared memory and distributed memory play vital roles in parallel programming. Shared memory is simple and efficient for small system, but it struggles with scalability. Distributed memory is scalable and ideal for large system, though it's more complex to program. Understanding the strengths and challenges of each help us to choose the right application. Thank you. These are the references for um, yeah, open MP, MPI and parallel programming. Thank you for your time and I hope you, this presentation has clarified the important concepts.